Okay, kitties, it's that time, part two. All right, I just wanted to clear something up real quick as we throw in the blue portion, the inner part, which I just put in a baggie so I can carry it. Um, the woman who left the, the very religious type comments, um, I do respect and appreciate the comments, but um, and I'm not, not angered or anything by it whatsoever. I respect it and, you know, I, I appreciate it. But unfortunately, I am not going to be able to leave it up there, so I will be removing it. But I just don't want you to think that, you know, I don't appreciate your opinions and things like that. I do. Wow, that actually looks really pretty. Look at it, look at it along this edge right here, just the way it's seeping out. I love blue, purples, and greens in the tub. I think the colors are just like so gorgeous as they spew out across the edge there. It kind of looks like... Like a lagoon, you know, like the, the the edge of the water, the edge of the beach, kind of. God, I like it. <laughs> okay, so next we have this mess here, where I took all the little tidbits and threw them on top. Chopped up a little speck more of the Santa fun, just because the fragrance started smelling not so, so well. So I thought maybe a little bit more of that Santa fun would kind of bring up a little more of that Lily fragrance, and it started smelling amazing. Let's go ahead, flick on our hot water, and melt down all our stuff. There is the bath bomb on the bottom there, a bunch of fun, all kinds of different products. As you saw us put together in the first uh, segment, we're going to go ahead and do this. So hang on one second. If you have earbuds in your ears, please pull them now. The water is loud and obnoxious. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Oh, there's too much stuff in here. I need a bigger strainer. <laughs> oh, it's turning boo-boo colored. No, all of our pretty blue is going. Well, we tried. <laughs> it was beautiful. There we go. Get that little guy off the edge there. Sorry, get you guys a little bit more of a view. Ow, that's hot. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, this video would have been massively too long, so I did cut it into two chunks. So this Sunday, we have two halves of the Sun Sunday. This kind of covers the people who enjoy the cocktails. You know, here's your cocktail video, and the people that want to see stuff being chopped up, there's that type of video for you, and also those of us who like to see what's in the inside of the particular bath bomb, but just don't want to really have the heart to cut it up and see what, see what it looks like on the inside because it is so beautiful. Since I have demoed those and they're on here and you can see what they look like in a hole, I figure it's a good idea to go ahead and see what's in them. What makes them do their thing. So I kind of covered everybody. <laughs> so in the Sunday segments, everybody gets something they like. I wish I could see the bottom of this right now to see what's left, but we have way too many suds and bubbles going on. You can kind of see what's in it. And then here, take a look at the rest of my water. It's a pretty kind of bluish. See it peeking through there? You can see a little pretty blue right there. I don't think it's going to remain that pretty blue, though. I really think we're going to get some ugly looking water coming out of here. I hope I cut everybody up small enough to where everybody is melting at a good process and we're not going to be stuck with big chunks of anybody. And we'll be able to swishy around our water enough and get some nice bubbles. Fragrance-wise, this is actually coming out really nice. Um, the Santa Fun, which I was hoping would peek through a little more, it kind of got enveloped, and I can't really smell much of it no more. Anymore, sorry. Uh, I'm not going to watch the way I speak. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have out with it. I, I really... And if somebody thinks that because I let out a curse word or because I speak nervously while I'm filming or anything like that, that I am uneducated, go watch somebody else. I hate people, you know, I don't want anybody to perceive me as being cocky or anything like that. But, you know, there's a million of us on here. So if you're not enjoying what you're watching, obviously go watch something else. Look, we're almost at the end. We're almost at the end. It looks so colorful in there. <laughs> oh, we almost made it. Everybody's almost dispersed. I do suggest if you're going to start like cutting things up and popping them in a strainer and doing this stuff, this type of, you know, doing it, instead of crumbling a bubble bar, say, underneath the faucet as it's running, you do everything in really small pieces so that way it kind of all melts down together and you're not left with like big old chunks of stuff that you really have to sit there and continue melting. Because right now I should be pushing these bubbles down to give myself the full bubble bath. 
but I kind of can't because I'm waiting for these guys to melt out. And the only thing that's really left, I would have to say, would be my jellies. Jellies take a little while to disperse, but I love using jellies to make a bubble bath. I really do enjoy it. And I wanted to show you the little stars that's left at the end of that uh, the bath bomb. Now, the, remember the bath bomb chunks that we put in the bottom of this to try and, you know, hold everything in? Well, pressed into that, into that bath bomb mixture, are little tiny, gorgeous looking little edible stars. Let me, let me try and get this all cleared out so I can show you a little bit. Okay, here we go. See them? Those are actually food grade edible stars that you would use, say, on a birthday cake or a wedding cake or something like that. But they're all inside that bath bomb. So I thought that was really nice. I thought that was really sweet. Yes, I am going to let them go ahead and go into the water. They kind of won't dissolve like this right away, but they do dissolve after a while. So I think with just what we have left, we can just let it drop in. Kind of bang out those little stars. Oh no, I turned the shower head off. The one thing I hate about having like that one nozzle that you use to turn on the shower or the bathtub is that you basically always flick the shower head on when you're trying to mess around with the faucet to do the bubble trick or whatnot. All right, so watercolor-wise, it's kind of gray and dingy, if I can get to it. Uh, slightly blue, very dark kind of dingiest gray color, but not a shitty color. Not a really gross color. It's not bad. So I can live with it. All right, let's make it a little cooler so I don't burn my tuckus. I have a precious tuckus, and I don't want to set it on fire. But I do think we're getting a mess load of bubbles from all this. Look at this. It's like so creamy and fluffy. Look at my bubbles over there. We're getting a lot of bubbles. Oh, I'm splashing everything. Whoops. I don't really have to do much, even. Wow, we're getting a nice amount of bubbles going on. I'm praying to God that the filming in the new place will be a lot easier and better than the filming here, you know? I just kind of don't like the way it's... the way it's working out. Never really did like filming here. Wow, we got a nice amount of bubbles. Oh, and I got some bath bomb dust on the side of the tub. Let's get that in there. Okay, so let me swish it down. You still have some little chunks of uh, fun, not fun, uh, jelly. Still swimming around in here because it takes a little bit for that to disperse. But wow, lots and lots of bubbles. We did use a lot of things in here that would make bubbles, so. I'm not shocked, but pleasantly happy right now. <laughs> all right, see the watercolor? Can you see all the like shimmers going through it? We didn't get a disgusting color. We got a nice looking color. It's not that bad. And it has gorgeous lusters going through it. Look at that. All right, let me shut this down. Do you see how pretty that is? My wax looks like that. This is what this is what my wax melts do. They give you that kind of like pretty thing there. I wanted to figure out a way to, you know, have that in the wax melt, so I figured it out and I did it. <laughs> so but this is what I wanted to see. I love this look. I love this gorgeous kind of shimmer flow through the water it's like zen you know it's like just a calming relaxing if you stared at this for 10 minutes you would forget about everything around you and just relax it's so beautiful so i did it at my wax melts <laughs> and so far everyone who has purchased has said nothing but amazing things about it Great product, good throw, great smell, beautiful to look at. So I am very pleased. And I know my wax is good. I did do a whole lot of research. I spent a lot of time and money 
on getting myself an amazing looking product to make it worth someone's money. And I'm very proud and very happy with it. And I basically got it from what the bomb diggy bath bombs do. They have that, you know, that like luster look through them and it's beautiful. And that's what I wanted to see, you know, by looking into my wax melting dish. Because you always look and you always see plain ordinary wax. I wanted to make it look like this. I think it's beautiful. It really is. And the watercolor is not so bad. It is kind of like a dinged down blue-gray color. Or green-blue-gray. Not bad at all. And the bubbles are fluffy. Look how fluffy they are. Fluffy bubbles. I think this cocktail is a definite yay. And if you think about it, I used little bits of all different type of products. So if you're trying to save on some money, but yet you want to get like a really cool cocktail going, you can buy a couple of rolls of fun and just use the teeniest bit of them. And those rolls of fun will last you forever because you're just buying for, to use a small amount in the tub with, say, a bath bomb or something like that. But by no means do you have to do anything that I do on this channel. You do not have to use a full bubble bar. You do not have to even use a full bath bomb. I suggest you use a full bath bomb because the whole reasoning of that bath bomb was for you to see it in its entirety, what it does and the beauty of it. And also get the, the massive feel of it, which would be the softening and everything, which of course everybody knows right now this is an extremely moisturizing bath which I do not want to put a bath melt in because it is very soft and moisturizing. That bath bomb in particular was a nice moisturizing balm. And then, you know, of course the bubble bar helps out. The fragrance that's coming off this is a mixture between a citrus, floral, lavender type smell. It mixes together very nicely. I really do like the way it smells. I did cut myself off a chunk of mermaid to use in the water. Um, I'm actually going to wash Boogie's hair in it to see if I can get the fragrance out of it more once it's in water. But to tell you the truth, that mermaid fun, I wouldn't even bother wasting your money on unless you want to, you know, unless you just want the prettiness of it or you want to make a mermaid out of it. I don't know. But as an adult, I wouldn't waste my money on it again simply because I cannot get the fragrance out of it. It's so unfragrant that I, you know, I just can't get it. I smell a little tiny bit of citrus to it. So here is the full bath with a hole right there. <laughs> See my hole? I had to make a hole. But this is my full bath, and I hope you enjoyed this week's Science Sunday. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short, and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. So I love you all, and uh, subscribe if you'd like to. If not, thanks for just chilling and hanging out. And, uh, you yeah, if you would, if you appreciate this, Smash the thumbs up button, like every YouTuber cliche. <laughs> Smash the thumbs up! If not, don't worry about the damn thing. I really could care less about the thumbs ups and the thumbs downs buttons. Every time I watch a video, I never bother. I just don't bother. Um, sometimes I'll leave comments on videos. Sometimes I'll just, you know, watch them and walk away from them. Sometimes I'll subscribe. Uh, but I do go through my subscriber list and I kind of like unsubscribe to things that I no longer watch or pay attention to in any way. Uh, my new thing though that I love is Funhouse TV. I watch Funhouse TV because she digs apart stuff and gets the little stone and stuff out of it. And it's just like, I don't know, I get stuck on it. So I watch a lot of boring, stupid YouTube stuff like Funhouse TV. If you have a channel and you want me to check it out then, you know, most definitely just say, hey, Corinne, check out my channel and I will more than happily jump on and do it. And if you leave it in the comments here, there is a 50% chance that somebody else might check on it, like your channel, hit the subscribe button. So um, I have 2000 plus subscribers right now. If you have a channel, leave it down there below in the comments. Hey, I have a channel. Come check me out. And there is a good possibility that some of my subscribers, because there's a little over 2000, so you have a chance of a little over 2000 people seeing that comment and you may get some more subscribers that way and I have no problem with that whatsoever. So if you'd like to and you want to try and take a chance to get some more subscribers, you know, you feel you have a good channel and you want people to take a look or you want me to go take a look, leave it in my comments so people can see and people know. The internet is big enough that we can all have channels and have fun and go check each other out and have a good time doing it. So I love yous. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.